everyone, welcome back to Awesome Millie. Now today I'm doing an unboxing video. What I will be unboxing is this awesome painting horse kit. It includes five stable mates, a pad of six different colored acrylic paints, and a paintbrush. Now the set also includes a background that you could paint, fold the edges, and make it look alive. So there's this horse right here, and it looks like it's a pretty calm horse, but it also looks wild. There's this horse that looks like a very wild and crazy horse. There's this baby foal, which is adorable. I can't wait to paint that one. There's one of these horses. It looks like it's a marching horse, like it in a beautiful shape of marching. And I actually, these are one of my favorite horses because they're big and the hairs are like amazing. And I really like them because they have hairs on the hooves and um, it makes them look very unique and awesome. And there's also this one, which I really like. It has like, if you can see close, it, it has like some curls on the tail and the mane. And it's one of the calmest horses in the set. So um, this is a Briar toy after all. I love Briar. Okay. So let's get opening and let's get painting. Okay, so let's oh. oh look You see? Here is where you would use the yellow, the green for the trees and you could paint this. And then you would fold the edges and then it will look realistic, especially the jump. And when you fold the edges and make the jump, the, you could pretend that the horses actually jump over it. So, but I'm gonna paint this last because I wanna have enough paint for my actual horses. And it also comes with these. Um, I think this tells you how to paint the horses, but I'm just gonna ignore that, use my imagination and make my own horses. And here's a whole ton of briar, like here's a briar book, see? I've seen these in other videos, oh my gosh, and I've always wanted one. This is my first briar toy ever. Oh my goodness, ah! I really want to check that out in this video. Okay, so let's get this out. It also comes with this pretty background. Okay. I'm gonna get the full out because the full is my favorite. And then we'll start, then I'll start saying more details about it. Take him out gently. There we go. Now, normally in other sets, um, it would come with like a bag of like these this white stuff. You would put water in it and then mix it up, then put it in a mold. But this doesn't. It looks like it, but it doesn't quite feel like it. It feels kind of like that, and it also feels kind of like plastic. But I'm pretty sure it's good good quality. So. I hope none of the legs fall off or something like that because Briar is good quality. I could tell from other videos. So, oh my goodness, look at its cute little face. With the nose. And I like how it's like looking up. So if there's another mother, like this one for example, it would be looking down and this one would be looking up. Look at their adorable long legs and the cute little tail. Isn't that cute? Now, what I like about Briar is that they add a lot of detail into their horses. So, you see? Like it has details on here. A lot of details on the leg, on the tail. And you see? 
Sometimes with the big horses, they even add like veins on the horses. Okay, so let's put this one here. Okay, let's take this crazy wild one out now. Okay. So this one looks like uh, it's going crazy for some reason. Looks like, um, I don't know, like somebody put a saddle on for the first time to a wild horse. You see the legs. The tail, a lot of detail on that tail. The hair, the mane, you see? It's like flowing all over the place. And the legs like this, woo! I like that, it's cute. Like you see all the details on this horse? Look, on the tail, look how much detail on the tail. That's what I love about Briar. Now let's take this one out. Okay, here we go. You see this one's kind of calm. Okay, so let's get this one out. Oh, that one came out easily. Look at this one. This one's so precious. Oh my goodness, look at the face. Look at that muzzle. I love the little leg there. And it, it looks like the front is just like marching and the back is like sprinting. So it's like half and half, it's really cool. And the mane is short on this one, but look at all the flowing ones and it has a lot of detail and the tail is awesome. You see, it has a lot of detail. So this horse is probably one of my favorites. Okay, let's take this one out of the box. Oh no, this one's one of the hardest ones to take out. I just don't wanna break its little legs because it's so precious. Okay. There we go. Okay, so you see, this one's really nice because um, it has like the hairs at the bottom of the hooves, you could see there. And the tail is like a really long tail, like it goes almost like this one, but way longer and it goes like down and onto the floor. And no. if you could see it, it's like, it, like this, it looks like it's, jumping into the sky but when you put it down on a table or something it looks like the leg is lifting up and this leg is lifting up and the mane is just so beautiful look at its face and i really like how long the tail is so let's get the last horse out of the box and i'm really excited because then we get to start painting so let's get him out. Let's get her out because this one has really long hair. And I love I love it because it's curly hair. Really curly. Let me take her out of the box. Oh my gosh! This one's forelock is so long. Let's put the paints aside. Like you see the forelock is like you know what, when we finish painting this one, you will see it better, that the forelock goes like up to its, like up to here, it's so long. And look at the mane, it's like curly. The, the tail is really curly. And this horse has a lot and a lot and a lot of detail. So I am really excited to get painting these horses. So, Comment down below which one you think I should paint first, but I'm gonna start with this one. Okay, so I just realized I was about to start painting one of my horses, but I just realized that I forgot to describe the paints and the paintbrush. So let's do that right now. Okay, so let's take the paintbrush out. Oh, it's stuck with the tape. There we go. 
Okay, let's describe the paintbrush first, then we'll describe the paints. Okay, as I look at this and feel it, it looks like the texture is really good. So it looks like the quality is as good as the horses. So I really like that the, t the paint tip is really soft and this is really, to me, like the wooden part is really comfortable because I paint a lot at home and I paint with acrylic paints and with paint brushes, but this paintbrush is one of the most comfortable paint brushes I ever used. Okay, so I'm done describing the paintbrush. So now let's move on to the, to the acrylic paints and see if I see the difference between one of my acrylic paints that I use at home. Okay, these look pretty similar, but what I do like is that normally I've had a lot of like these little containers before with paint and they're much, much smaller. These are way bigger, that's what I like about this, but the paint seems a lot like the ones I use at home. So let's move on to the painting. I'm finally gonna start painting. Okay. As I said earlier today, I am gonna start by painting this beautiful horse. Now, I really liked how it looked on the cover, so I'm gonna try painting it similar. But it said, like earlier today, this morning, me and my dad, since I couldn't open it, me and my dad took a picture of the instructions on the box, and I closed it up, and I looked, and it said to make it look really good you should add a lot of layers so that's what i'm gonna do okay so on the box it showed like let me show you you see it showed like the body was the dark brown paint. Okay, so I added several layers on my horse. I let them dry and I did it all off camera. And now I'm back, all the layers are dry. And now I am gonna show you how I'm gonna paint the tail and the socks and the blaze. It's awesome Millie here. Now, right now, I will show you my horse and finally! Okay, come on. Okay, here comes the first beauty we made yesterday. <gasps> She's so beautiful! And again, I added several coats and I did the hair, the, the mane, the tail, the blaze, the socks. I did that all off camera. So, you see, take a good look at her. Hey, 
Okay, and here comes the next beauty. You see, she is wonderful. She's in this awesome pose. And I really like her. Well, it's because of all the, like, spots all over her she's really unique and i really like the color changing on the tail look it up close and the same with the mane okay here comes the next one wow this one's so pretty you see you could see some curls and oh there you see curls well i and she has a really long forelock and she has like a caramel co color, which I really like. I actually made this color of the tail and the mane. And I also added some colors of the body just to mix in and make it look more realistic. Okay, now here comes this one. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, now I actually made the gray and then I put black. You see, take a good look at the gray. I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. I love the pose it's in. And if you look closely, it has some braids. Okay, and here comes the baby. Now, the baby, I've run out of my imagination. I didn't know what to put, what to sign. So I just made it brown with black spots. It's so cute. I'm sorry everyone, that's the end for today. I really hope you enjoyed my video. Now, if there's any other custom briar toys or schleich toys or any other horse toys, please comment down below, tell me which one it is, and I will try my best to get it and bring it someday to review it. Now, please subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone.